Okay, so I did the networking. Oh, can you hear me? Yes? Okay, cool. Yes. Okay, so I did the networking gold key. And so for this key, basically, you had to find five different ways to network. So the different ways that I had were one of them is to meet people through people that you already know. And this way is effective because it isn't as awkward to start a conversation with someone that you have something in common with. Um, another way to network is to use social media. It's an easy platform to find people and reach out to a lot of people and you can build relationships online pretty easily nowadays. Um, another way is the never eat alone way. So basically always surround yourself with somebody in anything that you're doing. Even if you're just eating lunch, try to reach out and meet someone new. Um, and not just with eating, like if you're at an activity or something, always try and meet somebody and talk to somebody. Um, another way is to just go out and find opportunities. So instead of sitting around and trying to have people contact you and network with you, um, go out and talk to people. If you want to talk to authors, then look up a bunch of authors and send them all an email or go out and just talk to anyone that you can find. Um, and then the fifth way I put down is by doing service. So by serving someone, you can network a lot because when you're already doing something for someone, they're more willing to help you with whatever you need versus if you just ask someone for help or ask someone for to talk to you. Um, because a lot of people want something in return for anything. That, if they have to give you something, they want something in return. So service is a great way to meet people. So for you guys, what is one way that you like to network that has been effective or a way that you have found is good to network? Like what is the best way that you've networked? Well, for me, I mean, I guess it really depends on what I'm networking yeah. for. But like for the farm, like we have um, a recreational fishing business. So we have like a bunch of tilapia ponds and people come with their families and they, they're able to catch like fish and stuff. And the way, the main way for us networking is the social media, specifically Instagram. And uh, Instagram is it spreads the news very, very fast. Yeah. So, like, I mean, like, it all depends. And, like, on the more professional side, uh, network networking through a mutual friend is always good, too. Like you said, Kiana, it makes it less awkward when you know a mutual friend and they can just pass on that relationship. And and that can, you know, evolve, evolve into much more relationships and networking. Yeah, I think maybe just kind of going off what Chris was saying a little bit. Um, I found for me that, like, um, networking around a purpose has always been really um, productive and it's been really beneficial. Like, like if I want to reach out to somebody in a, uh, like in Coca-Cola, which is a company I, I remember I was researching for a little while. And so I, I reached out to some different supply chain people at different levels in, in Coca-Cola. I said, Hey, I'm, I'm a student and just, just looking to learn a little bit more about supply chain and that kind of career and stuff. And I think when I framed it in that way, um, they're like, oh yeah, it's a student. I'd, I'd love to be able to help them kind of situation or like, hey, I'm working on this project. Would you be willing to help me sort of thing versus, you know, and I'm not asking for money or anything, but I'm asking for time, right? And that's a little bit different. So I think just, you know, helping to say like, hey, can you help me with this? Like asking for help. I've always find that that's helpful, especially if you're trying to network up like in a, in a career sort of situation. 
Yeah, awesome. So for the gold key, we had to find network with one person in five different areas of your life. So you had to meet someone new to help you with your spiritual life, health and fitness, financial and investing, career and education. And it was actually really fun to find people in network for all of these different areas because all the people that I chose are like completely different people and found them in different ways. And so it was really cool. And I use like pretty much all the ways that you guys said and the ways that I talked about in finding these people. Um, so my spiritual life mentor or networking person I found through a friend. They introduced me to someone. Um, for health and fitness, one of my coworkers I, who I just met actually trains people like he's like a physical trainer and so that was cool to talk to him about that and then for my career networking I did kind of what you did Eli so I want to be an OBGYN um, which is like a doctor that delivers babies and so I just went and emailed all the OBGYNs in Hawaii and <laughs> told them pretty much that I'm a student and I just want to speak with OBGYNs and see, like, you know, how they got to where they are, what they like about their jobs and stuff like that. And out of all the people that I emailed, there was, like, two that responded. Um, but it was awesome because I got to meet with them, like, over Zoom and over the phone and speak with them. And then they were really, really helpful with answering any questions. And like you said, like, it's super easy to say you're a student and they'll be willing to help you because everyone's been in our shoes before as a student so we can really use that to like kind of get some sympathy a little bit <laughs> um and then the last part of the key was we had to choose one of the people that we want to contact again five years from now and why we want to contact them and so i chose the one of the doctors that i talked to um, to contact again because she told me to call her as soon as I graduate and she would take me as an apprentice in her um, little uh, job that she has and so that was really cool because I just got that opportunity to talk to her from just emailing her and it opened up like that opportunity for a job in the future and so networking is super important and this key taught me a lot and it was really awesome. And yeah, anything else you guys want to add or questions? No, I think, I think networking is super important. You know, it's a, it's a really important thing in business and in life. So it's always, it's always good to know people. Yep. Yeah, I think I might go back and do that one. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a really cool key. I liked it a lot. Well, I haven't done any yet, so. <laughs> You're giving me you're giving me good ideas. Yes, go do it. For sure. All right. Um.